All right, in this tutorial, we're gonna go ahead and finish this off, hopefully. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and work on the arms of the chair, make them look a little bit more relaxed, and also work on the seat cushion and the supporting material with this. All right, so let's go ahead and look at our picture. We can see our arm here is very, very thin, and it looks like Looks like it's pretty thin on the width of it too. So let's go ahead and clean up this guy. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and modify, convert poly, polygons to subdivision. Then I'm going to go to my edge tool. Hopefully we just have to do this once so we don't have to do it twice. So I'm going to go ahead and hit four. Real quickly, I'm just going to select edges like so. And what you want to do is, while I'm doing a marquee like this, is I want to not select the, the vertical slices here. So I'm going to keep going. So after this, we'll do a sorry about that. I'm trying to concentrate. So again, you don't want to select any of these uh, lines that are going in the opposite direction. If you do, it's going to cause it to look really bad, it'll just create, create a crease. So what we want to do is just create a crease. So we're going to go ahead and go to uh, surfaces, subdivisional. I'm going to go ahead and do a partial. I'm going to go ahead and look at five and see if that looks all right. That's going to be pretty good. I don't want to overdo it. All right, so let's go ahead and go modify, convert, and we're going to go ahead, convert it back so from sub D to polygons. All right, so now it's nice and light. It has a little bit more curve and look and appeal than this one. So I'm going to go ahead and hit R, go ahead and squeeze it down. It was a little bit thick on the other one. So I'm going to go ahead, duplicate this guy. Move it over. Let's delete the old one. All right, that looks a lot, a lot better. Very nice and fluid. All right, so now our chair is starting to look pretty bad. So I hit three real quick. And basically this is what we want, is a nice smooth look to it. All right, so let's go back and look at our chair. Especially this one is a good profile of it. And we can see it's got this bent arm uh, a tubing right here. And this is uh, to help support it. And then we just see this very thin piece of metal in here. And actually our pad in here is a lot thinner than what we have modeled. So what we want to do, and unfortunately we don't have a picture of it from the back side. So what I'm going to do is just going to model what I think it is. And I, you can see that very similar to here, this back support, it looks like there is some sort of engineering here too for some supports. I'm guessing that it helps hold the chair together. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. Again, it may not be the real design. So I'm going to go ahead and actually duplicate this. I'm going to delete this layer. I'm going to go ahead and create an empty layer. 
Alright, so now we have this layer. So we have two layers of this chair. Okay, so this is the old one I'll put as T as a reference. And what I do is we'll model one side. Go to my side view. Go ahead and turn off the camera. Since it's blurry anyways. Then what we're gonna do is start creating the structure here. So I'm in vertex mode. Go ahead and pull this down, straight down. Go ahead and deselect this guy. What I'm doing is just creating the metal frame that's going to be supporting our chair. So uh, with the image, the high quality image that we have, you can see that we've got way too much padding for our chair. So we're just going to go to, this is our metal substructure, it holds it up. Okay, we have no idea really how this looks, but just gonna create some sort of structure here. a lot of help and it's eating up a lot of time to clean this up so uh, just try your best um, to clean it up yours will be a, a lot better uh, a lot cleaner than mine all right looks like one last bit here So let's go back, put this on a T, pull this one back, take off the R, and now I go to the side view, and then push this in opposite direction. Match up with this, because this is not the metal, this is just the padding of our chair. Probably want to move this back. Sorry about that. That I did start moving these and
Alright, so if we turn on our R, and see our support system, I'm going to go ahead and pull that over. like it's a support. Probably don't want to see that metal here. So I'm going to go ahead, duplicate special that. Let's look at the front side. Edit, duplicate special. Pull that over. Just going to eyeball that. Uh, that's pretty good. So imagine that that is on three, three. You can see our support system here. Okay, let's go back to one, one, one. And what I want to do is probably stop it here. I think we're we'll probably running pretty long on this tutorial, so we'll stop here. And I'll finish up the bar back here and a couple sub supporting bars underneath here. And we're almost finished. We'll work on the padding of the chair and then pull it all together real quick.